Good morning, everyone. Day five on <coughs> Wonder of the Seas. Um, we had fun. We had fun yesterday at Cozumel. We did the excursion at, I don't know the name of the place. Chickenab. Chickenab. And we did the encounter with the dolphin, um, petted a manatee, had free drinks, free Mexican food. I mean, so Bill had like a hamburger and a hot dog. I got I the chicken. pulled chicken, the chicken with, what's it called? Peppers and onions and the homemade tortillas. Oh, it was so good. Homemade salsa, that salsa was super salsa. fresh. He's salsing. So, today, we may die. We might die. This might be our last transmission ever. <laughs> if anybody gets my phone, I love you all. <laughs> Phil, Carrie will take good care of you. She got you, bro. She got you. Carrie, if you can't keep Phil, give him to Katie and Jordan. They'll take him. Anyways. No more doom and gloom. We're going. We're going zip lining. We're going zip lining. We're, We're going to die. So we have 12 zip lines all together. Um, what is the excursion actually called? Like King, King Kong. King Kong zip line. Extreme zip line. King Kong extreme zip line. FYI, we've never zip lined before. Oh, check. <laughs> Whatever. So we go to the extreme. It'll be fine. We did watch a little bit of video on it. Um, there were some fluffy people. There was some fluffy people, so I appreciated those videos. I think we can do this. Didn't have a weight restriction. Thank God. Yeah. So, well, I would have made it. Whatever are you saying? <laughs> I would never do it without you, though. Sunglasses. You just called me fat. I didn't call you fat. I called you fluffy. Girl, 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 girl. <sighs> fluffy is more nice. Oh, my bad pockets don't fit. Just the one does. Oh. Does Will my phone fit in it? The zippy pouch? But I can fit the phones in. I can fit the phones in all our other shit in my zippy pouch. Okay. Oh, okay. It's going to be super comfortable banging against the side of my knee. It'll be fine. Do you want me to take the little thing, neck thingy? No. We're good. <clears throat> All right. We'll see how it goes. And then after we zip line, though, we get to go see monkey and sloth. Monkeys and sloths. And we get to hold a sloth. I'm so excited for that. Cuddles. Baby sloth cuddles. Little taste of fried Oreos. Oh. There's no way I could eat them. Oh, I forgot we're locked. FYI, the door pushes out. It's a cruise ship. And I always want to pull in. I can't help it. Alright. We're going to go have breakfast up in the wind jammer. The wind jammer. It smells like smoke. It does smell like smoke in here. Sounds like there was a fire. I'm going through life like hey, hey. You are. You gotta bring a little Disney everywhere we go. I agree. Well, I always do. I have a tattoo. It's five flights of stairs we're going up. Oh. I'm so used to going to the park cafe. Yeah, I, I figured out how drunk Bill cut his hand. How did drunk Bill cut his hand? The safe. Oh. Yeah, so we were a little um Where are we going? 15? Yep. Yeah. We drank a little. Oh, that was good. It's a nipple flex spot. Shot. I don't like it. He didn't like it. He doesn't like it. Yeah. Touch. 15. No oh, personal information about Bill. All right, when jam where we go? We're hungry. Washy washy. 
we're getting ready to duck and this is what we see. We're up on the top deck. Having them uh, set up, we're watching them set up the ropes for our docking in Honduras. Roatan, Honduras. Pretty, but I don't know. And now look, I want to show you guys this. Look at this dirt road. That is insane. That's insane. Does anybody actually drive that? Like really? Wow. Let me show you some of the houses too. gentlemen a uh, very good morning to all of our guests and of course good morning to our excellent crew as well this is your captain welcome to Rohan ladies and gentlemen we have arrived we came here around eight o'clock and got the ship and uh, still working on tying up the ship it's a uh, sister ship of ours uh, the mariner of the sea is coming in behind us and uh, they needed to get some help there but nevertheless uh, we are docked alongside again so I said uh, Okay, we're getting ready to go. I feel like my helmet's not very secure. 
Bye. I'm all harnessed up and uh, Bill's about to get harnessed up and then uh, we're on our way. Could be a little shaky, guys. <laughs> but we're on a truck, the back of a truck right now, and we're uh, gonna head up the uh, mountain here. We came, we conquered, I screamed. 10 out of 10 experience. I just don't think I'd do it again. Maybe I would, I don't know. That was rough for me. Bill did awesome, like awesome. There was no filming though. It was like boom, boom, boom. But man, it was fun and terrifying all at the same time. But uh, the views, I don't know what they were like because I feel like I didn't get a chance to really see. Only because I was terrified. <laughs> it's hard to see with your eyes closed. How were the views, Bill? They were good. Did you have fun? Yeah. yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. I would do it with you again. Just know that I'm terrified the whole time. All right. On to the monkey and sloth. Uh, monkey and sloth? Monkey and sloth. Okay, so we are in a butterfly thing. So freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, look at him. Oh my gosh. Yo, Christy, and I look outside here, bro. Oh, don't go to your human. You don't want your human. You want me. Oh, you're so cute. You don't need to get open up, bro. <laughs> he goes, I come hug you now. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> what did he feel like, honey? A matted rug. A matted rug? Yeah, like. I think it felt more like um, coarse. Yeah. Like. I don't know. He liked you. Gave a big stretch. I came in for a hug, scratch me. I'm gonna, probably gonna die. Probably gonna die. You're not gonna die. Now we're on to the monkeys. I have some like sloth toe and bacteria in my bloodstream now. <laughs> we'll go down there and wait? Yeah, we'll go down there and wait. They're all gravitating over here. Little deer. Aw. They gave kisses. <laughs> Aww. They're fat sloths. Oh no, it's a baby sloth. Aww. And then at the bottom. Guinea pigs. <laughs> Over here, I got which is I call the New York rat. If you know what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> that is name is Aguti. It's highly native to all Caribbean islands, also here to our town. High population. You will see them on the wild, daytime and nighttime. Also, islanders here also hunt them and eat them and say it tastes like chicken. And it all tastes like chicken. And does taste like chicken. <laughs> I had it once, not because I wanted to eat it. My uncle tricked me. That was how I wanted to eat it. <laughs> but it did taste like chicken. When I found that out, like, two, two weeks later, when he told me that, I blocked the number. So I got like six months into the possum. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We want to provide a few vegetables with fruit, meat, and protein that they avoid it because it gets aggressive and it starts eating the sugar. Also, when I would like to share with all these guys, one of the most 
just recently yeah, yesterday, I had a group that said they wanted to bring some of that coffee, but I told them I was going to eat coffee over there. <laughs> <laughs> he knows by the name of coffee, his coffee is going around 100 to 150 bucks. It's yep. very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so if anybody gets to try it, I'll say it. Um, it's a little bit more important. I don't think I bought something that somebody digested. It is actually really good. Is it? Yes. <laughs> you don't know, like main reason why because you don't want more out of meal dominating the space because it has the most dominant one. They only have four fingers so they use their tail as actual palm as the sweet chest is holding on there or tail as the thing. The only man that gets to enter this cage goes by the name of Kelton. He's the son of the owner of the park because he had Denver since he was a baby. No other two guys allowed to enter, for example. If I do enter, I'm going to end up to the hospital at the same day. Denver broke my glasses like four times, so I'm telling you for experience. You got to come wow. Very aggressive. No. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. <laughs> I'm surprised she came close to me. Sorry. No, you're good. Just give me a minute for the monkeys. I believe it's going to have to split the group because it's a big group of 20. So everybody can get a chance to look around the monkeys that are bigger. I just want to head over to get some people on the right back to Okay, we'll video the monkey a little bit more because he's. She's so cute. I want to I want to put her there, but I know what we found about. So awesome. All right. Here we go into the monkeys. Number one, hobbit. You don't want to let him go. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that like your baby or something? Aww. <laughs> 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 Eating my finger. <laughs> I'm about to get milk, man. Come on. Oh, and my nipple yesterday, too. Let me see the same picture. I'm eating right on the nipple. I'm going to see you understand where that was. Soulful eyes. Yeah. It's barely, we're over these people. Trying to hang it out. Come on. Come on. He's the big brother, that's the reason why. Uh, yeah, so you understand, right? Yeah. <laughs> but this one is so brave, that's the problem. Oh, he likes me. That's the, that's the sun. <laughs> it's all natural sunscreen. It's at least. <laughs> but he is rude. He didn't say excuse me. Look at him. Hi. Oh. On again. Then you go on again. <laughs> I must have some it must have some sort of like <laughs> <laughs> Jo 
That's your partner? George's <laughs> gonna take her away. Who haven't got the picture yet? Okay, excursion over. Time to go back to port, get on the ship. Sweat around the port for a few minutes. Yeah. Sweat around the port for a few minutes, yeah. And then back to the ship to shower and jump in the pool. Drink lots and lots of water. The island bar is awful. Should we get a lotto ticket? <laughs> Ah. 
Del Loco Fresh, which took place of Sabor. But I got a lot of food. They got tacos, burritos, quesadillas, they got chicken and beef burritos, tacos, they got pork, they have chicken, they have beef. They have tortilla chips that you can put the works on. Oh, we are so hungry. Because we almost died. Because we almost died. Okay, Bill, tell us how it is. Alright. And we've got a seat by the window. Yeah, that's our zip lines. Yep, that's our zip lines right there. We waited all the way up to the top of that mountain. Well, almost all the way to the top of the mountain and zip line down. And I'll tell you those zip lines were super, super high. And then we ended up all the way down there again. But we went up that dirt road all the way up to the top there and then zoom zoom zoomed down there terrifying but exhilarating would recommend there is to be no shoving pushing chairs railings people or anything else that might get in the way most important of all there is to be absolutely no running this includes sprinting jogging dashing trotting darting, scurrying, or chasing. If any dimension rules are broken, your team will lose all their points and could be disqualified. So please use common sense and put safety first. That's it. Hang on. Crazy Quest will begin shortly. All right, so that's the video right there, ladies and gentlemen. So, for the Crazy Quest, I'm gonna be looking for I'm going to be looking for items or people here in the room, okay? Now, if I stress that I want a gentleman or to, to come down, I want a gentleman to come down. If I ask for a lady, I'd like a lady. If I don't specify, anyone from the team can come down to complete the quest. So what you need to do is have your team number and be that person or have that item. Uh, show it to me, show me the team number, I'll call it out, you'll get the points, head back to your team, get ready for the next quest. Now when I say this quest is closed, I need everybody in Studio B to say closed with me. So let's try it, this quest is... Alright, and no more points will be awarded to uh, the team. Now you will notice, if I can just borrow your number for a sec there, you will notice that the number is only written on one side of the piece of paper. So if you come down, you can see the number. Guess what? I can't, okay? Now the other thing is, I'm a quasi-young guy. The eyesight is still kind of good. I don't need the number this close to my face, okay? Now other than that, um, at random points, there will be bonus quests. Now, when it's a bonus quest, we're going to play some music. Everybody on your team needs to get wild and crazy and dance along with that music. The team that does the best job will get bonus points. So it's all about being the wildest, craziest team here this evening. So, let's get some energy in the house. How about team number one? Team number two? Team number one? Dancing Machine, you're team number three. Team number one! Team number three! Team number four! Team number three! Okay. You're team five. Team number five! And team number six! Okay. So as you can see, I will attempt to mess with your mind in this game, folks. You need to be ready at all times. So here we go. First quest. I need someone from your team. Team number in hand. Show me a copy of the Royal Caribbean app on a personal device. Go! Oh, team six. Team three. Team five.
next quest, I need a lady from your team, team member in hand. Bring me a sock with a hole in it. Go! A lady, a lady. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where's our team six? Where's the hole? I need to make the hole. Yes, team one. Yes, team two. Team five. A lady, a lady. Get out of here. Where's the lady? Where's the hole? Holy smokes, team three. Yes. Yes, is Paulos. All right. Just so you know, every single sock has a hole in it. That's what you put your foot into, okay? But some of, it, some of you ladies are up here scrambling around looking for the hole. And one sock looked more like Swiss cheese. It was more <laughs> hole than sock. Unbelievable. All right. I need a lady from your team, team number in hand, with two men's shoes on her feet. Go! Pretty girls walk like this. Yes, team six. On the feet, team three, team one, team two, oh five, team two. Team four. This quest is ours. All right, if it's good for the ladies, it's good for the guys. A gentleman with late two lady shoes on his feet, go! Tropical shirt, team three. You, you were pretty much just hump on the floor, my friend. Uh, but you know, our housekeeping team appreciate it because you didn't pol polish the floor for us, so thank you. <laughs> All right, next quest. I need a lady from your team, team number in hand, with two men's pants or shorts not being worn. Go! Two, 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 two. Next quest, I need two gentlemen from each team. I want the biggest guy and the smallest guy. Must be adults. Okay? I want you to come down, stand together with me. Okay? 
Okay, the biggest guy and the smallest guy to stand together in a line beside me, okay? All right. Okay. All right. I'll just... Okay. All right, just beside these guys here. Okay. All right, just spread them, spread them out a little bit, please. Okay, very, very good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, gentlemen. Oh, no, 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 just, yeah, just in front. Okay, perfect. Gentlemen, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna dirty dance with each other, go! gentlemen from team number one. The rest of the guys, back to your team. Back to your team. All right, good job, good job. Back to your team, guys. All right, fellas, come over here for a second. My goodness. Now, now I have to say, you guys were particularly impressive because you went straight into the prison grab. It was... <laughs> All right, what is your name, sir? Where are you from? Jordan from London. Jordan from London, and we have? Charlie from Jacksonville. Charlie from Jacksonville, all right. You guys did such a good job, I'm gonna give you the chance to earn some bonus points. So, when you hear the inspirational music, you're both gonna pretend like you're the world's finest male ballerinas, okay? You're gonna move around the dance floor area in your individual routines, think about Flexibility, think about speed, precision. We want to see the dance moves. Now, when I say big finish, you're going to come to the middle right here and you're going to leap into his arms for the big finish. Okay? Yep, give him the number. Get your cameras ready, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, go! All right. Let's see it. Yes. In the crucifix pose. Yes, look at the spinning. The twisting, look at the artistry, the poetry in motion, the dynamics, the twists, the turns. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, gentlemen, get ready. It's time for the big finish. Yeah. 
Good morning from J and B Adventures. We are at Costa Maya, Mexico. Mexico. So Mexico. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we are going to get some breakfast. We slept in. I mean, like really slept in. It's eight thirty ship time. That's not like us. But we're ready to hit the deck, get some breakfast, go to Costa Maya. We're just going to go in port. We don't have any excursions planned, but we hear that there's a lot to do in port. So I'm a little excited just to kind of hang out there and see what's going on. Um, Bill's still getting ready. He's a girl. Thanks a lot. Oh, boy. So we are uh, just going to hang out at the port today. We'll show you around. Uh, yeah. All right, so we are at Costa Maya. And where's the stairs to go? Oh, I don't think. Oh, we're on the top deck here. We got Costa Maya, guys. See if we can find a clear spot to look at it. Well, now there's the pier. That's a long pier right there. But uh, here's some of the. It looks like everything's like right here. We are only in town for or town. <laughs> We're only at port for until 1.30. So it's like, get your excursions in and get back to the boat. But the water is super blue here. So it looks like that's the water park. The big right there, that's the water park. Looks like that looks like a zip lining course. With the treetops. could be like a hotel or something all inclusive maybe but there's the port and a lot of things go on in the port there's like pools bars things to do it looks like there might be a trolley that takes you down to the end of the port hold on huh i wonder if it is a trolley or is it just booths i don't know let's see if we can get a closer look i love this camera Far as I can go. Kind of looks like a trolley. Well, that would be good. But there's the port. We'll go walk around, see what they got going on. And uh, just have a good time exploring. No excursions today, just relaxing. But this is Costa Maya. That's a uh, mariner, by the way. All right. I know. Didn't you see it? I just why I jumped off the thing. It is rough seas here today in Costa Maya, and the ship is a rockin'. So, this is like we 
never get off the ship this late, but we are. Just gonna go shopping. Have some fun. But uh, let me turn you around and let me show you how bad this ship is rocking. So the captain did say this morning that it was rough docking. But look at that. Wow. And I'll tell you, you really don't feel it this bad. I do have to say, you don't really feel it on the ship as bad. I mean, you feel like some bumps, but that's about it. But wow, look well, how. I feel like, I'm wondering if, if we're turned this way because there's no way Mariner was going to stay put. Oh, maybe. That was last year's ship. Yep, here's the Mariner. They're with us again. We were on that ship. We had an interior room last year. And there we are. Our ship is like double the size of Mariner. <laughs> wow, look at those waves. Look how blue the water is, though. Yeah. I don't know if the phone is doing it justice, but wow. Look at those waves. Holy moly. Tram must not be running today, but we are at work. I just can't believe, look at the waves. signs up here showing where all the tours are, where to go for tours, shore excursions. We are not here that long, so we are not going on an excursion. Shopping. The best port in Mexico. Everybody gives out free samples. You're always asked, hey, you want to buy some? there honey oh the people came down there were just people hanging off of that spinning looks like there were those people right there there's massages there's the easier 
the aviary. We're not doing the aviary. I know that. Look at all the look at all the masks here, honey. <laughs> they have Spider Man. They have the evil Spider Man. <laughs> they have masks with capes. No capes. Capes are bad. A lot of this stuff we saw at. Yes, but I think we need the Steelers tiki mask. We do not need a Steelers tiki mask. If we bring something home, we must throw something out. Phil's gone. Phil is not gone. Ooh, premium cigars. Leather, and it smells it. T-shirt shops. Oh, here goes Bill. Into the t-shirt shop. And it's not a seat in here at all. They give you a pedicure and the fishies. Fishies eat away all the dead skin. I can't do it, man. Just can't do it. Can't bring myself to let fish eat dead skin off my feet. <laughs> Would you do it, Bill? I don't know. Oh, they're like attaching, like, oh my goodness. The cheapest, uh... You kings can't see that, but look. Oh no, oh no, no. I can't handle that, oh, Bill's leaving me. All right. Hey, do you want cortisone stuff for your neck? Which has everything. Everything you can want. Prednisone, Viagra, uh, anti-inflammatories. Maybe that's what I'll get. I'll get an anti-inflammatory. <laughs> Something. What is that for? Oh. There's the pool. Swim up bar. Party 
vibe here. Mojito bar. Right behind you. Something's gonna happen. No. <laughs> shattered my dreams. I didn't shatter your dreams. Where are we gonna put that? <laughs> You'll wear it every day. I don't think so. Pretty much all the shops have the same stuff. Oh my goodness. What is this? I don't know, but they're supposed to be like a little, uh, Maya Simpson bowl. Huh. Mm -hmm. Looks like a coffin. It says Costa Maya on it. What is it? Like marble? The Mayan calendar. That's cool. Christmas ornaments. Don't put this. What? It's a Mexican hat for Phil. There's the two ships next to each other. Oh my goodness. Look at those royal beauties. The huh. little ass. the waves. Imagine having a beach day today. I would die. So this is kind of like the excursion we did, where we stood alongside a wall, dolphin was like right next to us, we got to pet him, have him do tricks, splash us. So we got to do that. Uh, but we could use a straw. We could use a straw. They have no straws because they don't want you to have a straw. Right. Go ahead, Bill. Drink out of your... My penis? Your penis. <laughs> Tell me how the drink is. <laughs> oh, fucking delicious. All right, I don't then. I if it looks like a penis or not. <laughs>